Hey everybody, today I'm back with another video of the mini ITX BMC build I'm putting together for a friend's family. As you can see, we've got XBMC up and running. Uh, Aeon MQ4 runs perfectly on this setup. Uh, I can confirm that it can play 1080p Blu-rays while also ripping a Blu-ray to disc. So for all intents and purposes, this build is very capable of what we needed it to do. I wanted to take a minute to show the programs and scripts we'll be using to make this build as user-friendly as possible. First up we have XBMC and that's pretty much self-explanatory. It's what you see here where the fan art is cycling through and XBMC is what we'll be displaying all the media from. It's basically the heart of the media center. Not to be confused with Windows Media Center which we have as our next program that we'll be setting up. That is only going to be for Netflix because Windows uh, Media Center has a licensed version of Netflix whereas the XPMC one is kind of a ad hoc solution and um, from ease of use standpoint Windows Media Center is much better presentation wise. Next up we have Make MKV. This is a program that allows you to take a Blu-ray or DVD load it into your optical drive and rip a MKV video file of it. Some people don't like MKV. I prefer it because it lets you save subtitles, chapters, multiple audio tracks, and things like that. So if you have a capable, a device capable of playing MKVs, it's really your best bet in terms of high quality movies. And um, this mini ITX BMC build can handle it just fine, so that's what we'll be using. Handbrake is the next program we'll be configuring. That is for compressing uh, video files, mostly the MKVs we'll be making from M Make MKV, because Make MKV rips the full quality uh, Blu-ray or DVD, meaning DVDs are around 7 to 8 gigs and Blu-rays are around 15 to 20 gigs. 3D Blu-rays could be even more. And even though we have a 4 terabyte hard drive, that's going to take up a lot of space very quick if we don't do something to compress the file size without losing quality. And that's where Handbrake comes in. In terms of scripts, we have the XBMC Custom Remote Registry Edit that a XBMC forum user made. It was very well done. I'll provide a link to it in the description so you guys can look it up. Basically, if you have a Windows MCE remote, it takes that, takes all the button functions that were mapped to Windows Media Center and remaps them to XBMC, just to make it so that every button has a use in XBMC, which is really great. It was ridiculously easy to set up, and like I said, I'll be making a video showing how to do that later. The next script is AutoRip DVD. This takes Make MKV and Handbrake, puts them together into a single script that lets you rip and compress a Blu-ray or DVD from one button press. And that comes in handy when you're using XBMC because then you can add it as a uh, home menu shortcut and just press one button and you've got the DVD copied in a couple hours. The next and final script we'll be configuring is the MCE remote um, remapping tool. If for any reason you don't like how the registry edit remaps some of the media center buttons to XBMC functions, you can use that tool that another XBMC forum user made and uh, remap it so you can make it pretty much whatever you want. Uh, for my initial testing, the registry edit remote settings are perfect. I don't see any need to change them, but if I do, I'll make sure to make a note of it in future videos. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, the next video in the series will be outlining how to configure XBMC. As you can see right now I have the uh, slideshow screensaver, which just shows fan art when it's been inactive for a certain amount of time. Um, we're using the skin Aeon MQ4, which has a lot of neat custom features that I'll show you how to get set up. And I'll basically show you how to get all of these programs and scripts set up so that you have the best media center experience possible. As always, if you liked what you watched, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions as to what you want me to test or do next, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching.